I'm getting by. They're both essentially the same. They're both buck fucking each other. Like their dicks are so long that they're standing side by side with their dick in each other's assholes. They're essentially the same, just one party, one body. There's no differentiating really between the two. And aside from that, essentially the same. Republicans lean too much to the idea of Christianity, and Christianity is bullshit. If you're going to actually have an idea of some type of religious fan fanaticism, at least in company, all of them. Don't just be biased to one thing and homosexuals should be able to marry. Gay people are awesome. Gay people should be able to do whatever the fuck they want to. And neither party are for that and that's just really fucked up. I think it's bullshit. People should enjoy to be happy or miserable with the partners that they choose to spend the rest of their life with. That's just really fucked up. I know a lot of married straight people that fucking hate each other. But they're still married because of the sake of their children. That's just really fucked up. Bam. I'm looking at both parties, and I've never seen a president's really ever done anything that reminds me of anything remotely to the idea that would actually be something with the working class, or with the class of people that actually are keeping everything working, keeping everything moving. It's all about people that are so far beyond the level of tax bracket that I'm in. And the idea that people should be allowed to do whatever they want, as long as it doesn't harm each other. You know, it's just simple moral codes that we all grew up on and have an understanding about. It doesn't take fucking common sense, you know, don't murder, don't murder, don't murder, don't murder. Or if someone else, what you would think is a normal thing that would go, that's taught through culture. It doesn't have to be the way that it is, because there's like a lot of bullshit through both sides of it. It's just ridiculous. No one is thinking about the actual constitution, no one is thinking about anything beyond that, and both parties want to have this like gray area about abortion, whichever, when it really shouldn't be any type of man's choice for an abortion because you know what? None of us have pussies. I don't have a pussy. The president doesn't have a pussy. Yet, be great for a second woman president. Then let her say so about abortion. It doesn't have to be the way that it is. It doesn't have to be the way that it is. And then, oh, that whole, uh, can shut up a rape thing. Ooh, that was terrible. Terrible. Then the whole NDAA thing was pretty scary. I don't know what the enemy combatant is. Scary. I personally would like to sleep at night and not worry about drones flying over my house like they fly in Pakistan. Because, you know what, they don't give a fuck. They'll, shoot. They'll kill a U.S. citizen. That's the people in Yemen. They'll kill a U.S. citizen. Going to the Bay is still open. There was a U.S. citizen that was killed. Habeas Corpus shows some type of burden on about anything because it just seems like complete and main bullshit that there's too many gray areas. I look around like whenever I'm over and the only thing I can care about is how we're struggling, how we all have different things going on. Like my fucking car got stolen. I'm getting by. I'm getting by. I'm getting by. I'm getting by. I've had to move three or four different times and I'm getting by. I'm getting by. You know, I'm getting by, but you know, I look at all these other people that are like, you know, higher up than me and everything and going different tax brackets, they're reaping the benefits I'm not saying anything. That's completely unjustifiable that everything should be a lot more even and if anything, why don't you just give the work and you know, let all these other people work and let us have some type of reward for the dedication that we've tried to accomplish.